Hey, so here's a little trick I discovered in Rome uh, to batch replace specific terms uh, that you may have. So the, the use case for me was that I imported uh, a lot of my data from uh, Dynalist. And um, I don't know if you know, but in there, you can, of course, use uh, hashtags uh, to link things together, but you can also use um, the at character. Um, so what I had is uh, things like um, like that. I was tagged uh, throughout the, the document I was copying. So let's make a demo. I'll just copy and paste this content just to play with it. So let's say I'm tagged like that. Um, in different places. Um, and maybe I'm also on another page. I'll call it temp uh, and navigate to that with control O and I'll tag myself here too. So I say I'm tagging myself, but obviously uh, this doesn't work in Rome. Uh, so I'll go back and now you know I'm tagged uh, inside the document but uh, what I want to do is I want to like, create a real tag for me um, in my database um, so of course there are other ways to do that so if you're copying content from from somewhere else you could like uh, copy uh, paste your content in a text editor and then batch replace your words. Uh, it might be more powerful um, sometimes, but I think this way is nice because it remains in Rome and it will work uh, even if your specific term you're looking for is uh, like in different places on different pages and stuff like that. So the method, the method I used is that. Um, I found one instance of the, the term I wanted to replace and made it a page. Uh, so you can use double brackets like that, or you can, of course, use the hashtag. Um, if it's one word, it will work like that. Um, if there are spaces, um, better use the double brackets. So once I've done that, I'll navigate to that page, so Control O to get there. And what I want to do is I want to find all instances of that specific term throughout my database. To do that, uh, I can check here in the unlinked references, and I will find all the, the, the places this term is used and has not been linked uh, with the hashtag or double brackets like that. So either all the instances, you're sure that, that all the instances, sorry, um, are to be linked and you can just click link all, or you can uh, select specific instances of the, the term throughout your database. Um, for here, I will just hit link all. Um, okay, so you, you see it has been linked here. Uh, and on the temp page. Um, now what I want to do is that I want to remove that add character and I'll do that in the um, by just clicking in the name of the page, remove the add and hit enter. And now so, uh, so now the, the, um, uh, the word has been replaced. Uh, everywhere it's mentioned and obviously it's it's uh, still a tag because the page exists uh, and you, you have it here and you have it also on the temp page okay so it has been replaced everywhere and now you have to decide either you want to like, keep that as a tag and it was it was my my case um, but you can also like remove the the, the hashtag or the double brackets by simply going to the page and deleting the page. So you're hitting the three dots here. You click delete, delete the page. I went two times back to get back to that page. And now all the instances of the words are just me. So the conclusion is that 
I just removed the add character from all the places it was used. Um, okay, so here's the steps. I will put them in the video description and maybe the link to that page too. Um, I hope this video was helpful. I'm planning on making other videos like that. Um, obviously, as you can hear, English is not my native language, uh, but it's good practice. And I hope it's, it doesn't bother too much. Uh, and I hope the, the content is interesting enough to to so that it's, it's not a problem. Uh, okay, so see you in the next video. Bye.